Hi, my name is Matt and this is Hack Mix Reality. In this video, we're going to go through how to set up a fixed camera setup for Vacation Simulator. So today we're looking at Vacation Simulator. This was released in April 2019 and was the sequel to Job Simulator, both of which by a company called Alchemy Labs. This tutorial is going to take you through a setup that requires no trackers and is for a fixed camera. However, if you do have a tracker available to you, that will help with one part of the setup. Before we get started with actually setting everything up, there's one thing that you'll need to know, which is about a file that goes in your game folder called externalcamera.cfg. This configuration file tells the game exactly how it should behave when in mixed reality mode. And we need to change a few settings in here in order to get the setup perfect. These settings will include the physical position of the camera within your virtual space, and also how near or far to tell the external virtual camera to stop drawing certain elements on screen. So, what does zero mean? Well, because we are feeding in the camera offsets into this external camera.cfg, we're going to need to tell it exactly where it is in space, and so we're going to need to be able to calculate that. We can use live to provide those figures for us. However, live doesn't always necessarily behave how you'd expect. All of the offsets that we put into the game start from a certain zero point, the center of somewhere. What does zero mean, however? Well, depending on who you are, whether it's Live or the game engine, you might have a different interpretation of what zero actually means. There's two ways to look at this, one of which is what's called Universe Zero in Steam VR tracking, and that is the center of one of the base stations, the primary base station used for tracking your play space around you. The other interpretation is the very center of your play space, the zero zero right on the floor uh, in the middle of your play space, and that is where the game engine decides that uh, it wants to base itself from. The problem here is that Live uses the universe space in order to identify where a fixed camera is, and the game engine uses the center of the play space here. So we need to work out some way of being able to trick Liv into telling us what the coordinates are in the game engine space. One way of getting the correct coordinates is to do maths, uh, vector maths, on each of the coordinates in order to identify where the virtual camera is, where the base stations are, and to do some kind of complex maths in order to work out uh, which direction these should be pointing in and do all of that. Now I'm terrible at maths like that, so I need a better way of doing that. Now because I don't want to do this maths, what I can do is I can use one of my controllers as a tracker in order to say that when uh, we are tracking a camera, we're going to use that as the origin point and offset from that. Now the handy thing to note here is that when you turn your controller off, it defaults to 0, 0 in your play space. So all we need to do is to turn on our controller and turn it off again and set our controller as the thing that we want to track to. Then when we do our calibration, we can say tie it to this and then offset from there rather than offset from the base stations. So if you've done live camera calibration before, you'll probably know that it is easier to use two controllers uh, to do the calibration or the fine calibration on that in terms of moving the slider with one and holding up the uh, uh, controller to line it up for the other. So because of that, it might be useful if you've got a spare controller hanging around to be able to uh, use that in order to do your calibration from that instead. So turning on the tracker and then turning it off again uh, will revert that to zero, zero, and then you can base your calculations from that. So now we need to generate one of these external camera.cfg files and get these numbers that Liv has calculated for us into our file. 
The easiest way to generate one of these template external camera.cfg files is to have Liv generate it for you by simply selecting the game from the list in your uh, Liv launch area and then hit sync and launch. That will launch the game, create one of these external camera.cfg files for you, which we can then pick up and go and edit. If you open up the external camera.cfg file in your text editor of choice, we can then go into Live, go to the camera, edit that, and in the calibration section, select to show the details, select export to clipboard, and then choose for Unity Full. This will copy all of the camera offsets, which are now calibrated to your world 00. Paste this into the external camera.cfg over the top of the FOV entry. Finally, we now want to go about running the game. In order to do so, what we'll need to do is make sure that we're not running live at this point. So unfortunately, all of the compositing you'll need to do yourself. As we've seen, when we run live, it will create or overwrite that external camera.cfg file that we've just modified. So we don't want that to happen. Once you've got that up and running, you should be able to now composite that manually using OBS or your streaming software of choice and you're in the game. One final problem you might encounter is geometry clipping into the plane of the view. You can see here that the back wall of the elevator in the very first scene that you get to in Vacation Simulator is cutting off part of the view here. So we can look at fixing that by editing again the external camera.cfg file and choosing to edit the near culling, what that means is, as soon as you get too close to the camera, it will stop rendering certain objects at a particular point in space. At the moment, that's set to just 10 centimeters from the lens of the camera. However, certain scenes will require a much greater depth than that. So now with the exact same camera placement, I've changed the draw culling to 50 centimeters instead. And you can see that the back wall of the elevator is no longer in view. There are several other scenes that you may want to calibrate this draw distance to, one of which is the snack shack at the beach. However, you can see here that there are a couple of artifacts still from the back wall of the shack. You may want to increase your uh, draw distance for that or the culling distance for that appropriately. The other place is the boat, also at the beach, where the roof of the boat just up here might start to occlude your view. If that's been useful, please give it a like down below and hopefully that will help other people who want to get into Stream and Vacation Simulator in Mixed Reality to be able to find this content more easily. We're going to be looking at other hard to set up games in the future, so please also give us a subscribe as well if this is your thing. Finally, if you've got any other ideas about Vacation Simulator streaming or if you've found any other optimizations for this process, please leave a comment down below and that will help everybody in the community. All that's left to say is thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.